Hello friends, welcome to another video on new window DAX functions. In this video, we are going to explore window function and find out top three selling products. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. What I have here is a sales by product category and product. So one product category has, of course, multiple products under it. The ask here is to get the top three selling product by each category and then also get the share of the top three selling product at the category level. Like how, many, how much top three selling products share towards the total sale of that category. Prior to window function, we were able to do this using the top end function. Now we can very easily achieve the same using the new window DAX function. Let's add a measure and to see how we can achieve this. So let's call it top X products, sold products. So what we need to do is uh, calculate and the top X we are getting based on the sum sales, sum sales and then we're gonna use the window function. Why we're we using window function? First of all, like there is index and offset function. Why we're we using window function in this particular case? Window function is the only function in the new introduced X functions which in which we can give the range starting and ending and also we can give the range absolute or relative value based on the order by. Since we are looking for the top X number of products in this case top three products it means we need the first second and third it means we need a range and window is the only function which has that uh, functionality. So that's the reason why we're using the window function. So what is gonna be window one absolute because we are taking the absolute not relative. So under each product category, we will sort the orders by product based on their sales and then get the top three products based on the sold value of those top three products. So we always, we need an absolute in this case. So first to three, because we want a top three. If we want top five, the three will change into five. And then we will use the summarize function. Uh, check out the first video in the Windows Deck series why we're using summarize here. So what we're going to do is summarize our all selected sales table. We are grouping it by product category. Product category. And then by product because we are getting it by product and then we're going to add a column which is a sum value let's call add column it will be column name first let's call it sales and then sum sales now we next is order by because how we want our result to be ordered by it will be ordered by the newly added calculated column sum sales because we want it to be top three based on the sales value and then we're going to do a descending descending because the highest selling will be at the top and then the next one and next one and because we're getting the top three so the first product will be the highest selling product and then we will also need to use partition by because we want to be top selling products within the each product category so we need to be partition it by um, product category. Do check out a video on the partition by. Uh, I will share the link um, how partition by is useful in these new window DAX function. Sorry, not product key, product category. Uh, let's visualize this uh, in our matrix visual. So we are getting uh, some values here. Let's double check what that is. Make it uh, currency zero. No decimal point so if we go to the road bikes what we're seeing is it is the top three selling products are 1.2 million 1.2 million 1.1 3 point some millions which is that's why 3.567 we are getting now here we are getting the top three sales for each product um, I'm not going into the details we have to use keep filters here you go. Now these are the top three product under this category, which is road bikes, and that turns out to be 3.576 million. 
and if we go to another category let's go to helmet it has only three products under it and that's why we are getting the hundred percent now the next is like we want to calculate the share of the top selling products so let's say another major share of top x sold products so that's pretty straightforward products that is divide the measure which we just added top x sold products and then divided by some sales let's visualize this measure as well and change it to percentage what we are getting here is percentage this is 24.03 percent and if we drill down into the product level the percentage does not make sense here because each product is 100 percent what we can do is we can change our top x uh, share of top x sold products we can wrap it if uh, not is in scope product if we are not at the product level then only give us the percentage otherwise it will return blank again this is totally up to you if you really want to do this or not so what we will have here is now we are seeing the percentage only at the category level not at the product level um, so if I go up now everything is working perfectly fine and um, the, 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 this is so easy to develop uh, using new window functions to get the top selling products what else we can do is we can also add a what if parameter and then um, I already have a parameter here let's quickly use that it's called the uh, uh, top X products if I bring it here let's change the parameter to a sorry this has been moved here which is great slicer settings instead of drop down a single value so now let's say our top value top x product is six or three or whatever we want it to be what we can do is on our measure top x sold products which has the fixed value of three right now we can replace it with the measure uh, from our what if parameter which is top x products value and now what we are getting is top x sold product based on the what if parameters right now just giving us the six prod top x products which is six million if we bring it back down to three uh, now it changes to the whatever the top uh, 15 in this case whatever the share turns out to be as you saw uh, using these new window dex function achieving this kind of a result is super easy and very very um, easy to develop the uh, measures and um, easy to make it very dynamic um, I did around 10 videos on these new window DAX series uh, do check out all these uh, videos um, they are correlated with each other and um, let me know what you guys think about this I hope you learned some new things from these videos on these new window DAX functions until next video have a great day and happy new year I hope uh, I will bring more videos in the coming year. Um, have a great, great, happy and prosperous new year. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thank you.